truth. It looks sick. Yeah. It's so like old school. You do know they got I mean? Joe Johnson like as a, do they still got yeah. like the icons under them? He's a star now. Oh, I, I don't know about that. I didn't. I wasn't noticing. Yo, I heard Ibaka is a star. That'd be pretty stupid. You got Russell Westbrook, Kevin Durant, and Ibaka. Oh yeah, I got Richardson too. Kevin Turner. Bynum's the best player on yo, this team. Fuck, yo, pick the Knicks, B. 86. And welcome everyone to another presentation of the NBA on 2K Sports. Along with Steve Kerr and Clark Kimmel, this is Kevin Harlan. Right now the 76ers are back in town for just one game and looking to play well for their home fans. And this is the first time they've matched up with the Mavericks this year. Yeah, this was a tough matchup uh, for them last year, losing both of their games against them. And here are the Mavericks starting five, courtesy of State Farm. Well, forwards, Sean Marion and Dirk Nowitzki. Collison is out there with Mayo, and it's Kamen in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. And for the 76ers, Bynum is out there with Spencer Hawes, and it's Richardson, and it's Holiday, and it's Turner in at the three spot. Both teams nibbling at the edges of the playoffs as the season was winding down. Well, Kevin, maybe the sweep was a little less painful to take since it came out of conference play. But every loss always is painful when you're in the middle of the pack like that. A moment to check in with Doris Burke. Doris? Well, guys, I was able to talk with Rick Carlisle for just a moment. He'll be facing one of the towering post presences of the game in Andrew Bynum. Coach said, you know he's getting so much more aggressive looking for his shot inside. He can finish right over the top of you. As with any big guy like him, it starts with getting a low base and trying to keep him out as far as you can. Then offensively, you've got to be ready to drop it off when he rotates to block the shot. The guys will see if they can make the right adjustments. And thanks for that story, Doris. The Mavericks do their first free throws of the night. That free throw good from Collison. Collison hits them both. A minute 42 left to play in the first quarter. Mavericks on D. Holiday goes in. Bynum. Richardson, that's a two-pointer. Another miss by Philadelphia. Would have been lucky to knock that shot down. Yeah, that kind of shot will definitely get you the high brows from the coach and maybe get you a seat on the bench, too. 76ers have gone 0 of 3 from the field to start the game. Turner passes to Holiday. Over Collison. They get it back. Richardson dishes to Holiday. It's taken away by Collison. And that one's good. Collison's got his second bucket of the night. The 76ers off to a slow start. Looking for their first basket of the game. Richardson kicks to Holiday. Over Collison. No good. Two for one opportunity here if they want it. That's what I'd do. Make sure you get a couple of shots here to close this quarter. Here in the first, just under two and a half minutes played so far. Holiday, the pass to Richardson. To halt the run. And Holiday kicks to Hawn. Some nice ball movement here by the 76ers. Richardson passes to Hawes. The feet now to Holiday. And it's out of bounds. The 76ers able to retain possession here. Both teams will make substitutions. Philadelphia with the ball. Eight-point game. Clark, they've been looking out of sync offensively. You know what? A basket here would do a lot for their confidence. Shots good by Turner. Well, we'll see if that shot breaks things open a little bit. It's been a slow start. Hopefully that gets them on the right track here, Steve. Turner covering. With four seconds on the clock. And it's blocked. Puts up a prayer. And so the first quarter is in the books. And the first quarter is in the books. Second about ready to get underway. And before we move on, what do you guys think about what we've seen so far from the Mavericks? 
And the difference to this point has been defense. Uh, this club has really gotten after it, and that's what's gotten them this lead. Well, there's nothing that's gone up that hasn't been contested so far. And now let's check out the lineups courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go. Here's the second quarter of play on the court for the Mavericks. Perrion is out there with Carter. Then it's Elton Brand. Then it's Mayo. And it's West in at the one spot. Now here's Allen. Thaddeus Young missing his last shot. Bynum, no good. And you know why he was open there. They didn't commit too much defense to him, and you can see why. He has trouble making that shot. Back to West. Out to Brand. It's stolen by Allen. And oh, here we go. Young's got it. The fast break chance. And that one's good. Young's got the second quarter going with the first basket of the period for the 76ers. Feeds it to Mayo. It's Vince Carter on the win. Marion outside. Finish to Mayo. A three. That's good. Mayo's got five. And that's his first three-pointer, so maybe that one will get him started. Oh. Marion against Young. He dishes it to Bynum. Here's the three. And Young with the basket on the assist from Andrew Bynum. Young's got five points in the quarter. You know, he didn't have too much space to get that shot off, but for him, he had enough. The 76ers trailed yeah, by four. Yeah, yeah, Got a piece of it. Stolen by Brand. Marion dishes to Mayo. Nice catch and finish on the alley-oop. Boy, they saw the opening for that alley-oop, guys, and they didn't waste any time. Well, those openings don't stay there for long, that's for sure. That's right. It's got to be an immediate play because those defenses are so fast. And the 76ers decide to take their first time out here. Well, he may just be trying to get a break in the action to clear their heads. You know, a lot of their shots are rimming out. You wonder if their confidence isn't suffering at this point. I think that's a good time to call a timeout. If a team has a few fall the wrong way for them, just burn a timeout and let them forget about it. Regroup, talk about it, and refocus. Backup point guard is only Royal Ivy, and he's a fucking 54. A different look for Dallas. Chris Kamen's checked in for Brand. Novitsky comes in for Sean Marion. And it's Collison in for Delonte West. The 76ers trail by six. Young passes to Allen. Back to Young. He feeds it to Ivy. Now Young inside. Yeah, I'm a big fan of Thaddeus Young, Kevin. He's a great change of pace. Power forward. Too quick for big men and then too tall for smaller guys who try to guard him. So he's a constant mismatch on the floor. Yeah, I agree with you there. And while he lacks the strength and size to be an elite defender inside, he gets his share of blocks and steals because of his activity. And that athleticism helps him there as well. Solid advantage in the rebounding totals for them so far here. You know, in every game, but particularly in a close game, every little advantage you can use helps, and they're certainly enjoying one on the glass here. Here's Collison. Thaddeus Young picking up that last basket. Came in, catch to Nowitzki. Gives him the lead pass. Collison dishes to Nowitzki. That ball's great assist by Darren Collison. Slick play right there. He's so resourceful with the ball in his hands. Ivy passes to Young. Gets it to go. Young's got five points now in the quarter. Boy, after struggling in the first quarter, he's come alive here in the second. Collison kicks to Carter. Back to Collison. And the call will be against Thaddeus Young. That's his first foul. Nowitzki, that's for two. And the first half ends in a close one. And it's been a back and forth game so far with no ground given through the first half. Third quarter starting here now. 
Well, Darren Collison has been getting it done. He's got six points, and he's come away with the steal, too. Well, when he's had the chance to be a factor defensively, he's taken it. You know, that steal was just another example of it. Richardson out there with Holiday. Then there's Spencer Hawes. Then it's Evan Turner, and it's Bynum at the five spot. That's the five to begin the second half for Doug Collins. Holiday goes in, and they double up Bynum. Somehow ignores the tight D and gets the way up. Three straight buckets in the paint. They're making it look effortless. Well, speaking of effortless, you like to see a little more out of the defense. Huh? How about trying, guys? The Mavericks shooting their third and fourth free throw shots of the night. Guys, that says a lot about the poise of this team. I mean, they've been so calm, cool, and consistent at the strike this year. I mean, that's impressive. He makes one of two that time. I'm sure he'd like to have that one back, but making it a two-possession game was the key, and he got that done. Drop steps. Great positioning on the putback. Again, they attack the hoop from the lane, and it's been really good to them. Yeah, they're getting whatever they want down there. That's four of their last five Ooh. buckets coming in the paint area. The Mavericks have gone three of four at the free throw line tonight. Well, solid numbers for this club uh, from the free throw line this season, shooting about 77% collectively. Yeah, guys, they can feel very good about themselves when you bring up those statistics. Impressive numbers. Second half rolling along now, about a minute played here. And Holiday kicks the ball. That's good. Bynum's got four points in the quarter. And they keep going right back to the paint. And who can blame them? I mean, they're getting it done in there. Yeah, three of their last five buckets guys, have come from inside the lane area. So I'd expect them to continue to go inside right at the defense. Holiday goes in. And it's out of bounds. The 76ers able to retain possession here. And let's take a quick look at the point guards this year racking up the most steals per game. Drew Holiday fourth. And not only are these players tremendous at picking ball handlers' pockets, but as terrific point guards, they know how to clog passing lanes and come up with a lot of steals that way as well. Absolutely. Their steals come from all over the court and in all sorts of situations. Transition, half-court sets, out-of-bounds plays, in the lane. They are the NBA's most complete defenders at the one-guard spot. Catching up on the changes for Dallas. Brand comes in for Chris Kamen. And it's Carter in for Sean Mary. That puts them in the lead. Pause at five minutes. He may not be their top three-point option, guys, but you still got to cover him. I mean, you got to defend him in some form or fashion. That's how you exploit that defense. Take the ball right to the basket. Here's Collison. And it's Philadelphia with the rebound. Bynum's got his third rebound on the night. Got that one up. He's got seven. Something has to change. He has that's ten straight points coming in the paint against this team. Well, they got to collapse in there, and everybody's got to be conscious of it. It's a team effort in protecting the paint. Control the ball, and then everybody's got to get in there and keep the defense locked down. Well, offensively, guys, it seems like they've turned a corner. Yeah, much better half since they changed baskets. I mean, they're looking very strong and confident. Now, here's Collison. He's got 10. Tipped. Nowitzki. Back to Collison. Puts it up from 15. Brand dishes to Carter. And here's Mayo from beyond the arc. Gets it to go. Mayo's got five points in the quarter. The 76ers have gone 6 and 9 from the floor here in the second half. They've got to be happy with that. And the pass to Turner. Over Carter. Again, Philadelphia. Boy, both teams showing a lot of hustle, Clark. Steve, especially since halftime. I mean, they're flying around out there, giving up a lot of energy and putting together a pretty good show. Here's Brand. Some solid to hear from Bynum. And the game still closely contested. Trailed by three. On the floor for Dallas starting the fourth quarter here. Dirk and Brand playing up front. Mayo out there with Collison. And it's Carter in at the small forward. 
Gets it to go. That's 12 points for O.J. Mayo. He is always so in control, guys, even when he's going hard to the hoop. Very skilled finisher. Out of bounds, Dallas will take possession. Man, I don't know what happened right there. He just basically walked out of bounds. And the 76ers making a change here. Turner's checked in. Out to Carter. Shoots over Turner. And it's Dallas with another. The 76ers shooting here about 46% for the game. And by Carter. Dallas calls timeout. And I think he, he believes that if he takes some time here to talk things over, it'll be well served for this club. And you know, maybe this gives him an opportunity to toy around with some of their game plan while he has their attention during this break in the action. Sean Marion has checked in for Vince Carter. Doris Burke has some information for us, Doris. Kevin, over that last break, I got a chance to hear what Rick Carlisle said to his team. He was highly animated when he was talking to them, telling them this is going to be a huge win for us. When we close this out, it will go a long way towards showing the rest of the league what we're capable of. Allison with it, guarded down by Andrew Bynum. Some nice passing here by Dallas. Kicks it to Brandt. Pass to Collison. Shoots over Turner. Again, the miss by the Mavericks. The 76ers trail. And Holiday, here we go. He tries for three. The shot by Turner, no good. And now it's Mayo running. He can go all the way. He's come out here in the second half and done a nice job moving, getting good looks, and finding his range. Holiday, the pass to Young. He kicks it to Bynum. This is DeYoung. Outside Holiday. Over Mayo. And it's Young finishing it off. And that bucket ignites the crowd. Crucial bucket there. And you hear it in their reaction. And you can feel the energy throughout this building right now. What a huge shot. Now here's Mayo. Out to Carter. Puts it up from 12. What a clutch shot there. Really, the definition of close. It's taken away by Collison. Now here's Collison, the fast break opportunity from downtown. And it's Carter again missing. Guys, a critical time for them in this ballgame. No room for mistakes right now. Here's Holiday. The kick out to Young. Turner guarded by Mayo. And Turner kicks to Young. Holiday left side. It's in! And that shot brings them to within just one. Well, that's his shot. He is really proficient from that mid-range. And there's the foul to try to stop the break. And that will be back to the basket. Two free throws coming up. And they'll retain possession. He's off that time. Second free throw missing. Outside Carter. Can't hit. Well, he didn't quit on the play. He defended the shot wow. and tested it. And then got back straight to the glass. Nowitzki, no good. That was a nice alley oop there. Well, you got to love the effort, though. Almost showtime. And the 76ers call time here. They trail by two. Five seconds left in the fourth quarter. What do you think, guys? They simply need a basket here, Kevin. With this much time left, I'd attack the basket and try to get something in the paint. Here's Turner. Holiday attacking. Here's Bynum. So it's an arrow victory for the Mavericks. Pulling out the W. And Clark, you know, it was quite a nail-biter. Yeah, it was tight. Their guys were able to come up with big plays down the street.